so students today i'll discuss evolutionary doctrine as given by herbert spencer now in evolutionary doctrine herbert spencer he says that all forms of nature change from a condition of simplicity to a condition of organized complexity which means all forms of nature all forms of nature mein koi bhi form aa gaya jaise ki mountains oceans trees grass fish reptiles birds or human beings so any form of nature or all forms of nature they move they change from a condition of simplicity to a condition of organized complexity then they also change from a condition of indefiniteness to a condition of definiteness thirdly they change from a condition in which their parts are relatively undifferentiated to a condition of increasing specialization in which their parts are characterized by a complex differentiation of structure and function so all forms of nature be it birds or human beings or any reptile or trees or grass they change from simple to complex they change from indefiniteness to definiteness they change from undifferentiated structure and function jaki functions or structure jo hai wo same hai unse to increasing specialization that is differentiation of structure and function and lastly from an unstable condition consisting of a large multiplicity of very similar units relatively incoherent to a stable condition consisting of relatively fewer parts to ek unstable condition se stable condition ki taraf large multiplicity se fewer parts in incoherent se coherent so unpredictable se predictable so these are the changes which are explained in the evolutionary doctrine a, con- a change from simplicity to organized complexity change from indefiniteness to definiteness change from undifferentiated structure and function to differentiated structure and function and change from unstable incoherent large multiplicities to stable fewer multiplicities as well as coherent and predictable behavior so we can conclude by saying that there are some observations which are related to spencer's theory of social evolution aur wo kya hai kuch observations that the social evolution is as rigid as organic evolution organic evolution ki baat kisne ki thi charles darwin ne no charles darwin has explained organic evolution and organic evolution as we all know is very rigid that is uh, the so the evolution of a human being for example human beings they move from infancy to childhood to adolescence to ad- adulthood to old age so they cannot skip and there is no shortcut they can they have to pass through all the stages the evolution is very rigid similar is the case with social evolution society ki jo evolution hai wo bhi organic evolution ki tarah hi rigid hai now secondly evolution bound to move towards progress to jo bhi evolution hai be it organic evolution or social evolution dono tarah ki evolutions they move towards progress they move towards growth growth or progress of the nation of the society or of the civilization as a whole and thirdly the process of equilibrium is involved in the evolution that is in evolution we are talking about change from simplicity to complexity par is change ke dauran society mein equilibrium balance maintained rehta hai to balance is maintained in social evolution as well as in the organic evolution so these are few observations which are related to the theory of social evolution as given by herbert spencer so thank you so much for listening